Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created those dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, sensuous, provocative love story about human evolution, which led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck based on the characters of Jungle Beauty Goddesses sitting behind me. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you some insight into what is your next best step. Yes, you will be surprised at the insight that they will give you. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Please select a divine feminine butterfly that resonates with your spirit. The links for each butterfly is located in the description box below. Hello darling, if you selected the pink and green divine butterfly, this reading is for you on what is your next best step. First I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your next best step from your Jungle Beauty Goddess reading. The very first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you in terms of your next best step is In between the words, therein lies the truth. One of my all-time favorite cards. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is Spontaneity is the cure for everything. 
She represents the second chakra. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is... Whatever the question, love is the answer. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is... What's inside of you can never be duplicated. So what I'm picking up from the cards is basically your next step is to execute the plan that you have and give yourself a 30-day plan so what came to me is that you are a person with a very unique spin on something that has been done a thousand times so maybe you like to bake cookies but maybe the cookies could be something um, interesting I don't know like for something like quarantine cookies or I don't but it's like there are three two to three things that you really enjoy and you haven't been able to decide between the two the message that I'm receiving for you is to combine three two to three things that you absolutely love and come up with something unique so let's just go with the cookies the quarantine cookies and so what would that consist of what would they look like are you gonna make like cookies in the shape of a mask and then you're gonna start a blog just about you know how to bake these cookies and what to do with these cookies right um, how maybe how not to re reveal yourself to somebody that you're dating um, virtually everybody you know wear your mask and then you know maybe after the the tenth online meeting you take off your mask you know something like that it just popped in my head but and then you write about it and then you think I don't know but there are three two to three things that really make your heart sing and you are to combine those things to create something new you're also being asked to look at people who do each one of those things individually and to journal about what you like about what they're doing and what you dislike about what they're doing to incorporate this into your unique plan on how you're going to execute this particular new spin on what's already been done the card that you have that says and this is what ties into the card that says what's inside of you can never be duplicated can you know I love this card what's inside of you can never be duplicated so this unique plan so you're trying to fit in and you're trying to figure you, you you know people are trying to make you decide between what well, do you want to write or do you want to sing do you want to paint do you want to draw like you can't decide but the reason you can't decide is because and the reason you can't figure out the next step is because you're supposed to combine the steps into one action plan um, and the, the card you have that says whatever the question love is the answer this this card is telling you that is why you know you can't decide because you love Love all of those things you know so like for instance for me I love making dolls and I love writing <laughs> right so I have to combine them um, and then spontaneity is the cure for everything and the reason the jungle beauty goddesses are urging you to be spontaneous is because a lot of times when people can't decide a particular pathway and they have a lot of choices they keep procrastinating they keep procrastinating but they don't because they can't well if I make the videos or if I paint or if I draw or if I bake then I can't do blah 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 but you're being asked to really be spontaneous and just pull it together it, within 30 days of watching this video you are being asked to execute whatever that dream plan is whatever that unique spin like if you like to play music and maybe you want to come up with different jingles or different songs or but whatever it is is something that it's a unique combination that only you have that can't be duplicated and it's something and these are all things that you absolutely adore you have a car from jungle beauty goddess um, Sahara it says in between the words therein lies the truth and this card is saying that when you talk to other people about your dreams they there's like a lot of doubt and because other people have told you know told you you can't do it or you need to choose you you're you have created this negative script 
um, this self-defeating dialogue that you carry around, and but it's really not true. The tr- it's not how you truly feel. You truly feel like I really love this, but I just don't know how I'm gonna bake cookies and um, you know make balloons. I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. So in between the words, watch what you're saying. Watch what you're saying to other people and watch what they're saying to you because Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara also represents our ability to communicate in our truth and to also be aware of what you are saying to yourself because in between those words, that's where the real raw untapped potential lies and they want you to focus on that energy. And um, so basically, yeah, so now I'm, I'm going to go over the, the information from your um, star alien being, <laughs> and we'll see what they have to say. Sometimes what we want most in the world is what we already have, what we are already doing. Money will magnify the joy, pain, anger, fear that is already in your heart and in your life. Do your best to vibrate at the frequency of joy. This is the primary lesson we have come to teach humans. Many humans have lost the ability to feel a pure, untainted sense of joy for simply living in the moment, doing something that they love to do. Most humans are distracted by their cell phones, tablets, social media. In between complaining about unhealthy relationships, anxiety, and a general sense of unhappiness with their personal lives, humans are taking drugs to eliminate social anxiety, not realizing that the reason they feel anxious around other humans is because they have checked out of the physical realm of existence and of the present moment. Humans are distracted from their own lives to be observers in the lives of others. After you have figured out what you love to do, start connecting to other people who share your joy. I really hope this video helps someone Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the brown and burgundy divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you to give you insight in your next step, next best step. First, I'm going to go over the cards, and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar, and Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is, use your skills and resources to invent what is missing. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you in terms of your next best step is listen to your heart. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chaubi. And her advice to you in terms of your next best step is anger means a boundary has been crossed. You must fix it. And the last card I have for you It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chaubi and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chaubi's message to you in terms of your next best step is be brave, don't look back, darling. My collective intuition for your hand is that there are some people in your life who really do not deserve a front row seat in your inner circle these there are people so your bet your next best step is to remove toxic people out of your life the energy that i was picking up from this particular hand is that um these are people that may be in terms of a friendship or your um 
somebody maybe it could be a love interest but somebody you work with but it is a person who has thrown you under the bus they have lied um, on you to you they have proven themselves to be untrustworthy they have stabbed you in the back so many times it is not even funny and you know who they are and you love them okay and you just continue to associate with them because you feel like if you break off the relationship you'll be left out of the loop like maybe you won't be invited to certain functions or you think it will be awkward to see them in certain places that you guys attend to together but this is a, a toxic person who they they you know it, listen to your heart because your heart already know that this person um, doesn't they they don't really have your best interest at heart and you need to and you but you can't break away from them you for some reason you continue this dance to continue this unhealthy unproductive relationship because you feel like oh my god if I stop speaking to them then it's you know things are going to be bad for me at the job or in the neighborhood or you know at the next whatever but it's, it's a person it's somebody in your life it's they're just not good for you your next best step is to look at your inner circle look at toxic people who have proven to be unloyal untrustworthy who have stabbed you in your back they're they jealous of you you know it in your heart but you continue to give them chances um, over and over again because you feel like somehow you need them so your advice from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi is to eliminate them and be brave and don't look back. Like this time, don't look back. This time, don't ask, don't, no, don't text them back. You always feel guilty when you don't text them back, but you shouldn't text them back. Don't call them back. They're, they're really, they're kind of selfish and the relationship is very one-sided. And even though they may do, uh, you know, everything, this is another thing I picked up from this hand is that every time they do something really cruel to you they can they can sense that you're pulling away from them so they will show you their other side and they'll do something really kind and you'll and you'll say oh my god i miss this juicy gossip i miss our girl time i miss the time at work when it's just the two of us like there there are good things about them that you really like but when you if you were to put the good things about them and the bad things about them on a scale the bad things about them would just outweigh them 10 to 1 but and this is why you have a hard time pulling away from them but the jungle beauty goddess oracle deck is just saying that use your your skills and resources to invent what is missing what they're saying is like you don't need this person the juicy gossip there's somebody else who will tell you what you are getting from this relationship you really don't need and you have it already inside of you and they want you to tap into it and you know who this person is listen to your heart your heart is always saying okay I'm not this is it for real this time you know I'm, I'm for real but they're saying listen your heart is leading you right a boundary has been crossed you know you know that this person continues to push your buttons they, buttons they continue to you know let you down and it says anger means a boundary has been crossed you must fix it so your next best step is to eliminate people in your life who are psychological distractions and um, people who are just they're not there to they're there to they know that your light could shine really bright and they're just they're actually using your light to help to keep them where they are but they know that if you were to eliminate them you would just blossom and this is why they they play this dance with you of oh you know when they hurt you now there's like the, it's the best girls night you ever had or they disappoint you know what i'm saying you know you know this person you know them okay so your next best step is to eliminate people in your life who are really just um literally spiritually holding you back in the sing song of i'm your friend 
I hurt you, but I'm sorry, and they're back. And be, that energy is preventing you from thinking clearly, from um, being able to move forward with gusto and with passion because you it's like you're pulling this weight along with you. And you, you understand what I'm saying? So now I'm going to give you the reading from your star alien being your rose quartz star alien being when growing up there was a significant person in your life who forced you to acquiesce to the relationship even though they may have been emotionally and or physically neglectful and or abusive because of your age you needed this person to take care of you in some way. So this could have been a teacher, this could have been a parent, uh, parental figure, this could have been a babysitter, but it was somebody in your life who you needed, who were sometimes very mean and also nice. You were underage and taught not to disrespect or question adult authority figures in your life, even if, even if they were treating you poorly or unfairly. You learned early in life how to suppress your feelings of anger and disappointment when you were very young because you were taught to respect and never question the mistreatment of adults because they provided your basic needs. You learned early in life that it is okay to let people hurt you, disappoint you, let you down. And as long as they are taking care of you in some way, big or small, this is why you have attracted tumultuous, complex, people in your life who hurt you repeatedly you tell yourself you need them because your fear of losing something of value um, if it's your boss you think you will lose your hours or your pay will be cut if it's a friend you think you will be left out of the loop not to be invited to social activities or they will share your secrets again <laughs> with others this relationship is something you find value in because they are nice to you sometimes you consistently feel like you need to earn their friendship and support this unhealthy emotional pattern is preventing you from excelling on so many levels you are attracting people who see your values your worth your exquisite talents and abilities who wear the mask of being your friend, but their truest intentions are to distract you and suppress you from accomplishing your highest aspirations because your light helps them shine brighter. If you were to wake up and remove them from your life, they know that you would live, they would live in your shadow. Don't be afraid of the light. Don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to leave people who hurt you continuously behind. You have everything you need inside of you. I really hope this video helps someone. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the light blue divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you. So first what I'm going to do is go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about what is your next best step. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is... Ask your body what it needs to feel healthy. Ask your body what it needs to feel healthy. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And her message to you in regards to your next best step is you can create whatever you want. The next card I have for you is from Dematter, who is Divine and Masculine Energy, Creator of the Universe. And his message to you is, get it done 
And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire. And Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message to you in terms of your next best step is find another way to solve the problem. So my collective intuition for your hand is that your next best step, child, is to do nothing but ground your roots, nurture your roots, water your roots, ground yourself, get some rest, get some sleep, do yoga, exercise, get healthy and, and strong. Your next step is to stop looking for the next step and to let yourself um, root to become rooted to become strong to become healthy so that you can put yourself in a psychological and emotional state to receive the next step so basically with the card um, the most important card you have is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara which says ask your body um, what it needs to feel healthy I feel like this is an urgent message because it is paired with the card from the the matter and who says get it done. So these two cards together I would just scare me. Like I just feel like if you've been like searching like oh what you know what should I what is my next video? What is it that I need to be doing next? What is it you know if you're stressing about what to do next the cards are saying what I'm picking up from my spirit is that you cannot solve a problem in the same psychological environment, the same conscious awareness, the, the same energy from which the, the problem originated. Because you, you know, how you, in order to solve a problem, you have to be able to see it from another perspective. You have to see it. If the problem is right here and you're right here, I don't know if you heard this saying before, if you're in a boat that's sinking, it's, it's hard for anybody to save anybody unless they get out of the boat. So you have to get out of the sinking ship, so to speak. you got to get a higher perspective. you got to go get help. But you can't do that unless you're strong. So the cars are asking you to immediately ask your body what it needs. Like, what do you, if you're exhausted, child, get some sleep. If you, you know, whatever, you you know, that, that only you can ask your body um, what the doctor can ask but what I'm saying is really get grounded and say what do you need from me am I keeping you up too late child or do you hate it when I eat those potato chips do you hate it when I don't exercise or when I don't do yoga just really get honest with your body and you know and find out what it needs because your body represents also like your connection with your ancestors your community um your roots your it's it's about you becoming stable so the vision that i have from this hand is that you're being asked to uh, to when i think of your roots to ground yourself i see a huge tree and the tree's roots are deep in the ground and you're taking care of them right which represents you being rooted you're being you know um, the soil is healthy you're being properly um, nurtured you're re rejuvenated rested you're able to regenerate your spirit right so what happens when a tree is deeply rooted and it's healthy it is in healthy soil which would be your surroundings your environment just stand and, and um, stand strong where you are you're being asked to stand strong where you are. Don't move, baby. And then when the tree is healthy, the it will blossom like the flowers, and the and then it would turn. You know, fruits would grow, and it attracts like bees and butterflies. So when you are healthy and strong, you will magnetize and attract the next step. You don't even have to do the next step; it's going to unfold unto you because you're gonna draw it to you. You have, you're, you're right now you're just like, you're just tired, you know what I mean? Um, you're just tired of like, what do I do next? What, you know, why isn't this working? And the universe is saying, I need you to put yourself in a position to raise your frequency, raise your vibration, so that you will be in a state of beingness 
where you will be able to see the higher level of frequency of information that I'm going to send to you. So right now, your next step is to be able to magnetize and uh, attract and draw to you what it is you need, but you can only do that from being strong, from being healthy, not just physically healthy, but also mentally healthy. That is the uh, big picture that I'm picking up from your hand. So now I'm going to give you a message from your star alien being. What is healthy may not be society's idea of what is popular or attractive. You may need to wear more comfortable shoes. You may need to wear glasses rather than contacts that irritate your eyes. Your body may need to breathe from hair dye, nail polish, and other chemicals. Trust your body. When it feels drained, when you eat certain foods, pay attention to how your body feels when you spend time with certain people. Asking your body what it needs can be masked by what you think you need to feel better about yourself in terms of how you will be perceived by others. But asking your body what it needs, it's really about what your body needs, even if it's not popular, even if it's not attractive. It may be what you need to feel healthy. Everybody's body is different and needs different nutrients. Don't give in to fad diets. Really pay attention to how you feel after eating certain foods. Do you have more or less energy? Pay attention to your sleep schedule. How many hours do you need to feel energized? This varies from body to body. Become an expert of knowing and understanding your own body. Once you know how to take care of your body, mentally and physically, it will know how to take better care of you. You will feel strong, motivated, and energized, and you will find yourself effortlessly going after your dreams, completing tasks, and doing all the things you ever wanted to do. But you must first develop this relationship with taking care of your physical self, your mental self, and your emotional self. A subtle mind is able to receive information from the highest frequencies. This is where you should focus your energy. I really hope this video helps someone. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink and black divine feminine butterfly, this message is for you. So first, I am going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about what is your next best step according to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is, beauty, true beauty is an act well done. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, Love multiplies when you give it away. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you is, Mind your own affairs. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi and her message to you is Do what is best for you. Now, I'm going to be really, uh, really honest and I feel bad saying it, but I'm just going to say it because I, I find that when I don't say what comes in my spirit then I just get blocked. My spirit is picking out that 
whoever this message is for, you need to stop comparing yourself. Your next best step is to stop comparing yourself to other people and get to work and look at the beauty within yourself and share that beauty with the world. So what came to me was trolling, critiquing, criticizing. Um, there's, there's somebody who is constantly looking at other people's work and comparing themselves and comparing other people, but the energy and time that they're putting into critiquing, assessing, criticizing, and trolling other people's work, if they put that energy into their own projects, they would set the world on fire. They would be the number one whatever it is in the world. This car, this hand is saying that to whoever, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that it's coming off like this, but they're saying that you are extremely gifted, extremely talented, you have so much inside of you, but you are holding yourself back because you, for some reason, are comparing yourself to others and it's and it's not healthy and it's not it's, it's preventing you from from using like what's coming to me is that you you are talented you are connected you have everything you need um, you have the resources you need but for some reason you you just can't focus on your own pathway and the vision I have is like you're in a race and you're you could win the race but you're looking over here and you're looking over there and you're looking behind you and you're so busy looking around that this is preventing you from using all of your passion all of your energy to move ahead and for some reason just listen for the right person sometimes you want to make a message you know um, you want to calm it down to be politically correct because no but I want to be honest this is for somebody who could do so much better if they spent more time on their own projects and stop whatever it is and stop looking at criticizing assessing putting down other people your attention is the most valuable asset your attention is what you spend in your lifetime it's like when you whatever you give your attention to that's what expands and if you are giving your attention to everybody's work but your own then their work is expanding but your own isn't does that make sense so you're being asked to really um, mind your own affairs and then you have the card by Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby and Chalby it represents our third chakra which is our power center which means I'm picking up you have a lot of power you can do whatever you want the wind child is behind your back if you would just let it push you forward if you would just pay attention to yourself is begging you is saying true beauty is an act well done um, when people think of beauty sometimes I think they think of physical beauty but really beauty is is a it's a, an expression of action of words of deeds at its highest potential we say something is beautiful when somebody make a good shot or when somebody make a bigger you know a beautiful cake it's not just about physical it's, it's when a person has expressed their soul with you know put their use their soul's fingerprint you know what I mean they have done their thing and we all know it when we see it you know rather it's baking or cooking or drawing or painting or I'm, I mean even cleaning the bathroom there are some people you can just tell that they they are expressing so much beauty because of the way they are giving of the energy inside of their souls the kindness the love the passion so you are being asked to look at the beauty, the unique beauty that's in you, that's around you, that exudes from you, and you know, and do that thing. That's what makes you successful. We're using beauty in terms of this gift, this talent, this something that you have that no one else have, that you do better than everybody else, and that is where you need to do it. Uh, I'm sorry, that's where you need to focus your energy. And then you have the card that says, "Do what is best for you, child. Do what's best for you. You don't need to." You know, maybe you don't have some a fancy camera to make videos and you have to use your phone. Or maybe you don't have fancy equipment to paint or draw with. Or maybe you can't go to Harvard, but then you need to go to your community college, okay? You need to do what's best for you. You need you need to get going. You need to you need it's time for you to to stop 
trolling, critiquing, putting everybody else's stuff down. It's you're not putting them down. You're putting you down because they don't even hear you. They don't even know that you're doing that, you know? And I know sometimes people like to do you know the thumbs down button. But let me just give you this example. I know it sounds crazy, but I, okay. Let's just say there is a uh, one woman who people would say is extremely beautiful and one woman that people would say is not as who is very unattractive okay we just for it to just to be superficial and both women are walking down the street okay the very beautiful woman is maybe she's going to get a lot of attention cars are going to be looking at her right but guess what the very unattractive woman is going to get the exact same amount of attention Whenever we see something extreme, we look at it. Like if you're going to go to the grocery store and you see somebody that's like, you can't believe they left the house like that. You look at them, right? But the thing is this, when you give something attention, it doesn't matter if you thought it was attractive or unattractive. You gave it your attention. When you could have used that attention to do something so much more productive with. Your next best step is to pay it, buy your own affairs job, buy your business, stop comparing yourself to others, focus on your project. Look at, look, you know, teachers used to say, look in your own, you know, look at your own paper, look at your own desk. Look at what you're creating because you have so much to offer this world and you need to really tap into this beautiful 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 work that you have to offer the world and share that gift with the world and you know and really yeah stop comparing yourself stop critiquing and criticizing and um giving everybody else's projects or whatever they're working on your attention and leaving your own dreams unachieved your own aspirations unattended to yeah you, you and and the other thing I want to say which I probably already said is that the wind is behind your back this is a good time for you this is a really good time for you to go for it because you have two cars from Jenna B goddess Chobby who represents our power center and she is saying that you got the power child just stop giving it away and the message in ter from your appetite, let's see, Skull Alien Me, it was a really, really short message. I'm just going to um, read it to you really quickly. It was very short. It says, take control over your desire to be perfect and replace it with a desire to be perfectly you. And that was it. Yeah, so give up your need to be perfect and focus on your being perfectly you utilize your beauty your gifts your talent and oh uh, yeah your next best stop to stop comparing yourself and do your thing thing because you got everything it takes to set this world on fire i really hope this video helps someone please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you and the next video.